Okay, class, so we remember learning what nouns are, which they are a person, a place, or a thing. So if you said, Miss Sterling, that would mean I am a noun because I am a person. A place could be school, where we're at right now. And a thing are what we're gonna learn about today. All of these things right here, we're gonna be able to know how to say all of these things. Okay. So the first word we're going to learn, can anybody tell me what this is? Cat. Correct. This is a cat. C-A-T, cat. Okay. Can everybody say cat for me again? Cat. Cat. Okay. Now, what would we do if we had two of these guys up here? What would we do to the end of the word? Do we know how to make two of them? No. Okay. What we do is we add an S for two cats. Can everybody say cats with a big long S on the end? Cats. Correct. Cats. So when we have two or more, anything more than one, we add an S on the end to make it multiple. Can everybody say cats for me again? Cats. Good job. Okay. Next, we have a fish. Next, can anybody tell me what this is? A fish. Correct. This is a fish. Can everybody say fish with a big long sh on the end? Fish. Correct. Fish. All right, now, thinking about what we did with the last noun, the cat, how would we change the end of this word if we had two of these fish up here? Fishes. That is a good guess, but fish is a weird word. And when we have two, we just keep it as fish. Now this is an exception to the rule. We don't usually just leave it the same. Usually we do add an S at the end, like with cats. But can everybody say fish for me? Fish. Correct, fish. Now, does anybody know what a fish and a cat have in common? What are both of them? They're animals. Correct, they are animals. Can everybody say animals for me? Animals. Animals. Good one. Now, do we see that this has an S on the end too? So, so this word is meaning multiple animals. So that could be the cats and the fish together are animals. But if we just had a cat, it would be animal where we cover up the S because we don't need it. Can everybody say animal with no S? Animal. Animal. And now let's try animals with that long ass on the end. Animals. Good job. So next we have this. Does anybody know what this is? A strawberry. Yes, this is a strawberry. Can everybody say strawberry? Strawberry. Good job. Now this word is a little different because there's a Y right here on the end. Now, how do we think we would change this if there were two of these up here? Strawberries. Correct, strawberries. But it might be spelled differently than you thought. We have an I-E-S because there's a Y on the end. Can everybody say strawberries? Strawberries. Now, do we need one strawberry to, to make it strawberries or two? or 10. How many do we need? Two. Correct, we only need two. But 10 is also strawberries. So as long as you have more than one, it's strawberries. Can everybody say strawberries for me again? Strawberries. Good job. Does anybody know what this is? Apple. Correct. This is an apple. Can everybody say apple for me? Apple. We hear that p -p 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 sound, so apple. Apple. Good job. 
Now, what would we do if we had two of these up here? Can anybody tell me what we'd add to the end? Mm, an S. Yes. When we have two or more, we add an S to the end. Can everybody say apples with a big long S? Apples. Apples. Good job. So, can anybody tell me what a strawberry and an apple have in common? Just like how we said that fish and cats are both animals? You can eat them. You can eat them. But they are called fruit. Can everybody say fruit? Fruit. Fruit. So, other fruits that you guys know are bananas and grapes and now strawberries and blueberries. They are fruits. Fruits. Yes, so we can add an S on the end to make them to talk, to talk about multiple fruits. Can everybody say fruits for me? Fruits. Correct, okay. Is everybody ready to review? Yeah. So now we have a, another animal. Can everybody say animal? Animal. Animal, glad we got that word. So this one is a dog. Does anybody know how we would change the word dog? We have D-O-G, just like up here. What would we do to the end of the word if we had two of them? Mm, dogs. Correct, it would be dogs. So what letter do we add on the end of the word? An S. Correct, we add S to make dogs. Can everybody say dogs for me? Dogs. Dogs. Good job. So next, we have a blueberry. Can everybody say blueberry? Blueberry. Does anybody know what a blueberry is? Mm, no. A blueberry is a fruit, just like a strawberry or an apple. And do we notice something funny about the end of the word? What does blueberry end in? Y. Correct, that is a Y. So, how would we change this word if we had all of these right here? Blueberries. Correct, there would be blueberries. But, what's different? Can we remember, because it ends in a Y, how would we, what letters would we add to the end? If we have just these R's right here, what do we add at the end to make it sound like blueberries? I. And I. What else? Anybody else? And E. Correct. And what's our last final letter? S. Blueberries with an I-E-S. Can everybody say blueberries for me? Blueberries. Good job.